All right, it's Wednesday. I ran to Bozeman today and got my new glasses, and I can actually see again. <laughs> Amazing. I guess the key is not to get your glasses updated every five years, but every year or two. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. I'd like to get on to the uh, next horse tomorrow, but I don't know. I'm just uh, going to take it a little bit at a time because I sometimes never get done what I was going to get done. Anyway. Time to play with some play. All right, I'm back. It's a beautiful day outside. Yesterday was cold and blustery. Today is nice. When weather is nice in Montana, it's nice. Anyway, I'm just going to straighten out that leg a little bit. I'm going to try to get as far on this uh, as I can today. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether I want to put the rider on the horse now while I got the horse away from the uh, main armature. I think I'm going to try to do that. Before I can do anything, I gotta change the linos back. Had it just a little too straight. Okay, it's the next day. <laughs> I didn't get very far yesterday at all. And I'm not going to get far today. i got to go somewhere later on in about, I don't know what time. It depends on when the people call me. But uh, they're in Yellowstone Park right now, which is just about 80 miles south of here. Southwest. I wish I was down there. That's a beautiful time of the year to go there, and all the buffalo are doing their rutting now, and so are the elk. And if you don't know what that is, that's uh, <clears throat> that's the uh, season of mating for wildlife down there. Okay, I'm just uh, getting ready to, to put the legs on the... Uh, Warrior. I, I think I know how I'm going to have this. Uh, 
set up. He's going to be holding a blanket in his hand. It's going to be a blanket that was wrapped around his waist. And what he's done is he's taken one side of the blanket and uh, he's letting it flap in the wind to uh, keep the horses in line and keep them moving. Uh, sort of like whistling and, and waving a lasso over them. Uh, but this is quiet because he's stealing them. So, from a village or from an enemy camp or someplace. That's for the uh, people who view the piece to make up in their own mind as far as the story goes. That's the beauty of sculpture. You can make up your mind about the story. All right, now I'm going to start sketching in his body. I'm not going to have much time to do this today because I've got to leave here in about, well, in about 25 minutes. I just got a call. People are leaving West Yellowstone. It takes an hour and it's been 15 or 20 minutes already. And I've got somebody coming by here and we're going down to the Blue Moon Saloon for dinner. Yes, I'm going to dinner again. What I'm basically doing is just sketching in the body and trying to think about how I'm going to have this warrior dressed, if I'm going to have him dressed at all. Now, if he's doing this at night, he's going to want to keep warm, so he's going to have to uh, wear leggings, I'm thinking. And also, he doesn't know the kind of underbrush that's going to be around that he's going to be running his horses through because he can't take a trail. This is just a story that I'm building up my own mind here. And so he's going to have to have clothing to protect him from uh, underbrush and stuff. I had a drawing one time of a uh, quick bridle that uh, would have been put over a horse uh, in this kind of a situation, and I can't remember where I put the damn drawing. And uh, I'll have to contact uh, my friend who gave me that information and uh, see if he can give it to me again. Because I think it was just a loop around his, the horse's nose, somehow passed through and then up in a kind of a single rein for the warrior to hold on to. Okay, I'm getting to the end of what I can do today, and uh, I cover a lot of this in a one DVD set 
called sculpting a horse with a human rider, I think. I can't remember what I call it. <laughs> I covered this on uh, one of my instructional DVDs on how to do a, a human with a horse. In fact, I call it something like that. I'll uh, put the uh, title up here on my video so you can look it up if you want. I have links to all nine of my instructional DVDs down below this video. And uh, you can look it up and check it out and see if it's something you want to get a hold of to see how I come up with a formula for the uh, human to the horse. So I'm going to have to say goodnight to everybody because uh, my ride is coming in just a few minutes and uh, I must get ready for that. All right. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.